According to The Hollywood Reporter, Julianne Moore is reportedly in talks to play the villain for Kingsman 2, which has Matthew Vaughn back as director and Taron Egerton reprising his role as Eggsy. The Hollywood Reporter also said that while there were rumors of having Colin Firth's character return either via flashbacks or with an identical twin, those ideas have been discarded and he is said to no longer be involved. Christian Byer sell Julianne Moore possibly playing the villain in Kingsman 2 and Firth no longer being involved. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna buy both of this, uh, both of these, and you guys know if you've been watching this show long enough, I couldn't shut up about the Kingsman. I loved the Kingsman, one of my favorite movies. It was in my top ten of last year. It was so original. I love Matthew Vaughn and everything that he brought to another. You talk about another movie that no one really knew what it was about, or it, it just it could have failed, and it did really well because it was so different. And it was a rated R comic book movie, by the way. Um, a lot of people don't are not, are not they're always talking about Red, uh, Deadpool. Kingsman came out last year, rated our comic book movie. But um, I'm going to buy Julianne Moore for obvious reasons. She's one of the best out there. The only time I've ever seen her phone it in was that stupid movie, that came, The Seventh Son. Oh, that crap fest. That was horrible. <laughs> I mean, she that movie, it stoinks, it's garbage. And she <laughs> was part of it, and she made it garbage because uh, she didn't care. You could just tell. She was like, what the hell did I sign into? Only time I've ever seen her phone it in. So to have her in this movie it elevates. Anytime you want to bring in somebody like a Julianne Moore and you could see what Matthew Vaughn will do with her, um, yeah, I buy it. Now, I buy the Colin first stuff, and I'm not going to spoil too much. You should have seen Kingsman by now if you haven't, but I won't spoil details. But I will say I think it's a smart move not to have him back because it, to me, could have been lazy or just relying on something that worked the first time. Like, oh, well, it shows the kind of director and, and writer I think that Matthew Vaughn is, you know, to where he's going he's gonna to say, wait a minute, let's, just, let's get a new villain or not a new villain, but a new, new uh, actor or, or star and let's make this work. So I like it. I buy both of it. Dennis? Yeah, I'm going to buy it. She is one of the best actresses out there. She was amazing in Still Alice, the one she won the Oscar right, right. for. But you're right. The only hesitation is I, I keep thinking about Seventh Son. It was horrible. But I do give her a pass because, you know what, that whole movie sucked. And er everyone in it like was... But there are actors and actresses out there, even if they're in shit bombs. I, she is... The, she is the, she, you would assume that she's going to be like committing, like, all right, I know this thing stinks, but I'm in it. And she's just like, check. she might as well have been making eggs in the kitchen. She yeah, no but idea. I mean, he also had Jeff Bridges, who was also an Oscar winner in there, too. Like, he was just not, he didn't care They either. thought they were signing up for Lebowski, too, yeah. when they signed up for the seventh. Yeah. So. Um, so I, I, I'm excited for her in this movie, uh, notwithstanding that movie. Um, I wonder, I think, though, the tone of the villain, though, will be kind of more of an over-the-top villain, because that's kind of what yeah, we're the used to. Sam Jackson was certainly that Because, one, yeah. I mean, we did see her play not so much a villain, but a, a character that we didn't know exactly where she stood uh, in Hunger Games, where she was like, not a good guy, not a bad guy, just kind of somewhere in between. But I don't think that's going to happen with this one. I think it, with what Sam Jackson was, kind of over-top yeah. top villain. So. Colin Firth not being uh, there, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but it right. makes sense. Clark? Yeah, I buy. I can't. I can't buy this anymore. Matt Vaughn is one of my favorite directors working today. I love everything he does. I love the way he does it, and I think it's interesting too, considering he wasn't back for Kick Ass Two. The idea that he's coming back for the second Kingsman movie. Um, I I love the idea of him putting his mark on this franchise, and I love the idea of him and Julianne Moore teaming up as well. And you know, Julianne Moore has played so many different characters throughout her entire career from her character in Big Lebowski even like more comedic things like in that movie Nine Months where I actually think she's very charming and funny um, and then you have obviously her dramatic work so I think that whatever direction she chooses to they choose to take her character it will be exciting and it will be cool and in terms of Colin Firth you know I um yeah I agree now if they had brought him uh, back for the second film maybe as like an evil twin I think that could have been it fun it could have been fun but I think you run the risk of camp and like I know the movie is campy in, in general but I think that's again it just it, it might get a little lazy and for me like I, it's just going brand new and something you brought up though was with Matthew Vaughn because a long time Vaughn was was rumored to not be a part of it just producing it and I think because of that kick ass mm -hmm. thing, two thing um, that's why he's coming back because I was strangely enough not excited that they announced this with, without him. I think that the, he's one of the, he's the reason why this movie was, it, it was his directing style. Mm -hmm. It was the way that he used music. It was the direction of the cast. It was everything that he did. It, it bumps me out a little bit because that means that I got to wait longer for the Flash Gordon remake. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, 
I love this. Yeah, I think it's great. And um, But in terms of Colin Firth, the other thing that I wanted to say is that I don't believe that this franchise hinges on Colin Firth. Like, yes, he mm-hmm. was sort of the face of it in terms of the marketing in the first movie. But I think, you know, it like you were saying, Christian, it's Matt Vaughn who is this franchise. And so so I don't think that it, it hinges the, the quality of it or, or even the importance of it for the fans. Right. I mean, as a big, big fan of this movie, I'm fine with Colin Firth mm-hmm. not being in it. I think that, you know, as we've said before, no spoilers but i think his arc had a satisfying uh was satisfying and that's all i need hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider